Hello, welcome to uh, another match. Two matches, in fact, in uh, the winter self-playing snooker tournament. Um, I hope you're all very well. Hope you had a good new year. Um, you may be watching the news simultaneously with this if you're watching it live. Uh, I'm presuming um, it's a lockdown, more or less. And uh, is anybody in the chat room? What's going on? Not getting any chat through. Just I'm just going to check. I'm definitely on air because you know usually people are saying stuff in there. Um. Oh yeah, you are there. You're you're on that one. Um. And uh, yeah, good news for uh, self-playing snooker fans. If there's another lockdown, what else will there be to do except watch? A man play with himself at snooker over and over again. Uh, thank you to Fesbian, who's just subscribed with Prime for five months. Done. Yeah, don't forget to do that, everyone. Um, we can get Ian Amazon's money. If you're with Amazon Prime, you can link your accounts and sub every month. Don't forget to come back and use it for someone. It'd be lovely if it was for me because I will use your money to uh, make sketches for Twitch of Fun, which is on Thursday night. Uh, Wednesday night, uh, I'll be talking to the UK's second best ventriloquist, Nina Conti, on Rahalas at 8pm. haven't got anyone else booked in yet. Going to have to pull my finger out. Whew. And uh, if anyone's watching the news, yes, I am available to play Julian Assange in any uh, TV movies or films coming up. Um... Taylor from uh, The Drunk Women Solving Crime. Thought I looked like him. Thought it was me for a second. Sit down, Jim, saying Prime wouldn't let you do it again. You had to use real money. That's not on. Don't do that, Jim. Um, so uh, chat the chat room can keep me uh, informed about... Uh, what's going on with the lockdown, but we will be carrying on to nothing can stop snooker and lockdown would just encourage us. So uh, bad luck, Boris Johnson. You can't get me for a bumblebee. Now, it's been very exciting um, times here at uh, the winter tournament. Um, we already have through to round two, me 37, me 15, me 18 and me three. Um... Today we'll find out who will win between me 16, who's the Scotch me of course, and me 38, uh, the king of the world me. And um, then, I mean that's a pretty good match. I can't remember what the king of the world me is, I guess it's just someone controlled by the king of the world puppet, right? I guess that's what that is. Uh, and <laughs> a year ago, it was last year we did that. Uh, and then me 19 successful me, one of my favourite uh, of the me's, will play me too, um, who's had a very poor run in uh, or nearly all of the, uh, if not all of the tournaments. Uh, me 16 Scotch me has never won a frame. Uh, so he's won one frame, he's never won a match. He's literally only won one frame. Me uh, 38 has won. Uh, me, me 38 even though he's the newest player may have won more frames than everyone else put together uh, me 19 that's pretty not fair on me, me uh, too me 19 uh, also played one lost one but then did avoided having to be in the playoffs um, because they did play one match didn't they what in the after me one versus me two one time we did a, a, an extra frame and they did win that so they have won one um but that's this is very strong lineups. Uh, next week, me thirty six or whenever I do it, teenage me not bad versus me eight northern me. That's all right. Uh, me ten, oh Welsh me that's pretty big versus me twenty nine meninist me. It's there, there's some big frames coming up. Um, the winner will win, of course. The Chris Evans not that one trophy, and uh, you know we'll play each other at snooker. That's how it works. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's much to tell you. Don't know if there's anything to talk about, really, beyond just getting on with it. I mean, we could wait and see if any more people show up. All right. Oh, no, look, first uh, blooper reel of the 
2021. Tried to chalk the cue with the the wrong side of the chalk. Um, you've not your Punani album hasn't arrived yet, Doctor Lego or Doctor Iago, Maybe what's what's going on there? And that should have arrived. Uh, getting across in touch with Go Faster, Chris Evans. If you uh, not that one. If it doesn't turn up, yeah, there it is. Look, it's not filled in, but there, weirdly, there is one sticker in this one. This is one that Chris just sent to me. PM announces new England lockdown with people told to stay at home and school shut for most pupils from tomorrow. Fuck me. I forgot about that part of it. Looking forward to getting the kids back at school. I'm going to start to look after them again teach them uh snooker will continue that has not been taken down by lockdown stone cone will continue that's not been taken down by lockdown rahala stopper will continue it's been wounded by lockdown but still survives and uh twitcher fun would not exist without lockdown and will continue to thrive throughout lockdown so do check out all those various enterprises um we might just crack straight on with is there anything else i usually do in this i can't remember feels like a long time since i've done it we'll see if it's working it isn't it's a week um daily daily for tone clear incoming you never know but uh, probably not probably not um gotta try and look after myself and uh, mentally and physically and uh, some stone clears must remain private Tough, isn't it? Tough going back into lockdown. I hope we're all feeling okay about it. Um, I mean, you know, we're not. I think it's for the best, really, isn't it? Is it? I don't know. Anyway, of course, we are here. Uh, unfortunately, Mahinda Watsa's uh, family got in touch last week to say uh, they do not want the uh, arena named after him. Uh, but we're named him after today, after Bambang Siadi. The Indonesian uh, politician. I'm um, sorry to break it. That will be a tragic news to many of you. And I know there are a lot of fans in Indonesia. And that news may not have come through yet. Uh, probably of the 163 people watching, probably 112 are from Indonesia. Um, Bam Bang. And I haven't chosen him because his name's a mixture of Bamba Gascoigne and Bang. Uh, died of COVID-19. Uh, age 52. And that's a sober fucking thought to add to the mix, isn't it? Born after me, died before me. I count it as a victory. Bam bang, Suyadi. Yeah. Then Hampton Monty Three must be de devastated because he knows how to he or she knows how to spell or they knows how to spell Bam bang, Suyadi off the bat. So uh, I'm sure they can't uh, have looked it up on Wikipedia. Recent deaths. People will start betting. Pin sleep is 52. Well, watch out, mate. Watch out for the old COVID coming at your way. They keep on saying it's only a, a killing old people as if that makes it okay. <coughs> 52 is old. 52 is old, my fan friend. Uh, old pin sleep's had it. Don't mean you can't get it again, and this time it'll do the job properly. <laughs> Sorry, I hope you're okay, and I do not wish death upon any of the people watching this. There's few enough of you. Up to 171 now. People realising lockdown's back. Turning back to, to self-playing snooker, as they should do. Uh, Andy McH's flatmate is getting his vaccine this week. It's not from the COVID. It's just uh, Andy McH vaccine he's getting. <laughs> um, I'm on fire in 2021. It's going great. Um... Shall we do a famous snooker list? I mean, we could get this over with quickly and then uh, go about my life. Uh, I'm not drinking, which me too is going to be upset about. And uh, so I've stopped drinking for at least January. <clears throat> Maybe forever. I am proud of my Andy McCate, thank you. Um, and um, yeah, I've grown my beard uh, partly because I want to do some more Peter Dibden sketches, but I haven't written them yet. So I was growing the moustache really, but I don't want to have a moustache. Uh, I have got a false moustache as well. Whew. So um, let's meet the players, if that's what we do now. Uh, very excited to meet uh, Scotch Me, Me16. I know a lot of you will be looking forward to seeing uh, him back at the on the old green 
Tartan Bard. Sorry, it's a bit offensive to do to attempt to do the accent. Um, how are you doing? It's just sitting down now. See, so how are you doing? Okay, hello, Richard. There's me, Scotch me sixteen. Okay, I've been down Sucky Hall Street today. Well, you shouldn't really been. It's the, isn't there? There's going to be a lockdown. You shouldn't. You should be staying in inside. Oh, don't you worry. I was eating shortbread and my tab. I was eating my tablet. Richard Oak. I do love a tablet. Um, and I was eating nips and tatties. Yeah, I had some potatoes today. No, but I had tatties. They're very different. And I had nips. Uh, I think I had some turnip last week. Bashed up. Look. Don't you come here with your Sassanac ways, Richard. I was having nips and tatties. Not turnips and potatoes like some kind of weird Sassanac. Yeah, you got the Sassanac thing in. There's a bit of racism coming from you there, mate, and I don't appreciate it. Uh, I'm not mocking you, so I would ask you not to mock me in return. Oh, you're so thin-skinned, you English. Remember Braveheart? And freedom, freedom. Yeah, you, I think you lost that one, didn't you? Oh, no. The Battle of Bannockburn. Never forget that we... Did we win that one? I think we... A, a Scotch person would know automatically if they were... Oh, I do know. I was asking you, and you don't know. So, that is... What I'm saying. Anyway, let's. Uh, well, it's going to be the battle of you versus uh, not an English person, but the king of the world. Uh, how are you intimidated by uh, by fighting against the king of the world? Oh, no, intimidated me. No, he may have a puppet, Richard, but I've got the puppet too. Okay, it's me. Hello, it's Tana Shanter from Richardson. You know me. You, you know, I was in one episode of Twitch It was the same episode as the King of the World when he first started. In fact, I was the main one. He was the sort of afterthought. So, I'm not worried at all about uh, facing up against him because I'm the main one. Yeah, thank you very much there. Uh, very, uh, uh, the Sc- uh, Scotch me there uh, with uh, Tam Shanta, the Scottish character from Twitch Fun. A little crossover there. Uh, but I can see he's going now and sitting down in his place. It's uh, well, he doesn't even have to sit down. He's just coming up here. It's the king of the world. Hey, it's me. I'm the king of the world. Hello, it's me. How you doing? How you doing there at home? I'm the king of the world. Don't know. Nice to meet you, king of the world. What's your name? I'm the king of the world. I am the king of the world. I'm the king of the world. Um, wish I brought some water up with me now. Why, Richard? What's wrong? Well, the, the, some some reason my throat's just. <clears throat> Give me a bit of jit. Oh, I don't have that throat and rich because I am the king of the world. And the world king. That's another way of putting it. And the world king. Or the king of the world. And I'm also the king of the old green lord because that's in the world and I'm the king of the world. So you're looking forward to fighting against uh, Scotch me today? Oh, yeah, Richard. I very much looking forward to it. I got my human knee to play snooker thorny because I don't think it's practical. Got the snooker cue here, snooker stick, oh, sorry, wrong hand, snooker stick here, ready to go. That's how I do it, knocking it in, because I'm the king of the world, I knock it in, run, run, I show the snooker, snookering around. Some people like snookering on a big table, but I like snookering on an old green board, because I am the king of the world. Uh, as long as it's a me playing. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a you, Rich, that I'm controlling in because I'm the king of the world. And I control the world and all the things in it. Do you think you're going to get through to all the rounds? Because I hope so, Rich. I expect so, of course. I'm the king of the world. I can do everything I want. I think that people want to see me win. And actually, I found the Scotch subject a little bit offensive, a bit xenophobic, even though a Scotch person was upgrading him. You can't be xenophobic against me, Richard, because I'm the king of the world, and that's the whole world. And you can't be xenophobic against the king of the world, because that's the king of the world, so I'm the king of the world. Do you think you win? Yeah. And uh, any tactics? Uh, 
I think I'm getting a guy just to hit all the dolls into the pocket. And then I win the game a snooker. Then I progress to the next round where I will play the winner of the next tournament. Cool. Well, I, I hate to tell you, King of the World, that so far in round one, the player who's gone first has won <coughs> every single frame. Me 37, me 15, me 18 and me 3. Me 16 is breaking. Scotch me. So we'll see how that goes. Let's uh, head over to the commentators here in the Bam Bang Sierradi arena. See how they, they go on. Just check everything's working. Hello, Richard. Here we are. Thank you very much to Ray Fontaine, who subscribed with Twitch Prime for uh, eight months. Weave Hole in for three months. Thanks very much for that. Why are you thanking them? Sorry, Richard. That's your job. Uh, best of one frame here in the Bam Bang Suryadi Arena. And, uh, oh, we are set up, so that's bad news. That is wrong. Okay, so we do have a problem. We, we have a problem. There is a problem. There's a big problem. Let me just uh, mess around with the camera for a sec. Might have to get Chris Evans, knock that one out into the world. We might have to restart. I think we might have to restart. Just hang around, kids. I'm just gonna go in and come back out again. I didn't notice that that was wrong. All right, let's see what we can do. I'll be back in a sec. I'm going now. Hello, we are back. Refresh, tell your friends to refresh. For some reason, uh, can you see me? Let's see if I can see you. Let's see if I can see me. And then that will be the knowledge that it's okay. In fact, you everything. So I should have realized because the chat room wasn't re, uh, re going. Or is it back? Can you hear me? Can you see me? Chris Evans just texting me. I'll just get him, let him know. Just let Chris know what has happened. Um, Good, we're all there, good. So you can all see me. Tell people in the chat room to uh, to refresh if they can't see this. So we're going over me 16 to break, me 38, king of the world, me, oh. And uh, it'd be interesting to see how these two shape up against each other on the old green board they've never played before. This is only me 38, second match, and we're off. Me 16 doesn't go in off. Has he potted anything? I don't think so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He did pot one. Something went down. No, it didn't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah, he hasn't potted anything. Here comes me 38, whose name is on the ball. That's kind of spooky, isn't it? He's actually snookered quite well. That gets out of it beautifully. Me 16. I think he can pot this one. He's done so, beautifully stops the cue ball there. Spins on a sixpence, can he get the blue? He's going for the blue, mustn't hit the pink first, of course. Oh, hasn't gone in off, nearly pots the brown. One point to Scotch me, and Scotch eyes will be smiling tonight if the score stays one nil all the way through. And King of the World again, pretty much snookered, not quite. Oh, no way, look at that. That was a shot from the King of the World. He, that's why he's the king of the world. He's going for the blue as well. Very difficult shot here. And uh, does not go in, but it's one all. This is nail biting stuff. Me 16. Coming to the table is Tamashanta. All askew. That wasn't a good shot. And let's let the king of the world in. And this, always a mistake. This could be the king of the world at the table to the board. Oh, to the yes, what a shot. You thought he'd missed. He's more or less snookered himself. He can get the black, but what a shot that to get that red. So, 2-1 to the king of the world. It's a slow start, but this is like in cycle races where they just, they just iron each other up. Oh dear, scotch me. Been on too much scotch, I think. 
king of the world, me just tries to whack it, see what happens. What happens is he doesn't get one in. Me 16. Oh, unlucky. That seemed to be a beautiful shot. King of the world. Oh, well, that was a little too hard. Nearly potted in the center, but the first mistake of the night. Five points, four points to me 16. Calculating, calculating. Me 16, five. Me 38, two. And here comes me 16. Ah, oh, that's the kind of steady play we've come to know and love from me 16 in the three frames he's played per previously. It might be four, actually. Oh, should have got that. But he increases his lead, stretching ahead. 6-2. Low score so far. Highest break, one. King of the world. Oh, standing on some bits of merch. And that maybe put him off. A bit slippery. Scotch me may have this. Can he defeat the king of the world? Can Scotland take on the world? It seems so. Look at that. Beautifully nudges the black down right over the pocket. He's got to adjust his flame red hair there. Pots it. That's nice. The highest break so far tonight from Scotch me and the people in Glasgow will be cheering right now. Can he make a three ball break here? You know he can't because he's gone in off. But a brilliant break of eight. For only four give it away. Calculating, calculating. Me 16, 14. Me 38, 6. Unlucky there for Scotch me. He could have wrapped it up there. King of the world, me. He's shouting something about being king of the world. I don't know if you can pick that up on your TV microphone. Oh, and that was not good. I think he was trying to just get round. It's a difficult position there on that one. And uh, four points given away. It's now 18-6. And here comes Scotch me. This would be an amazing victory for Scotland to defeat the ha actual whole world. But uh, it's early days. King of the world. Oh, goes in off. I mean, not in off. He knocks the, he pots the green, which was quite a achievement. He does not seem to be on the form we saw him in the previous round. Maybe it's just coming up against some proper opposition. Oh, look at that. Do you see the spin on that? Come back for the green. Oh, he's missed it. Got on the... Just get trying for the red, I think. Calculating, calculating. Me 16, 23. Me 38, 6. Oh, it's bad news. Scott, the Scotch player should always go for the blue. King of the world. Oh, he'll be disappointed with his showing today. Me 16. Just needs to keep his head very difficult for the Scotch. But look at that, what a shot! He's really got to go for the green again here. Just edge, edges it back a little bit too far, but look, it's all looking good for Scotch Me. He's the only one scoring points here. King of the world. The red ball surrounded by all the colours of the world. Oh, and maybe he's got a snooker here. That is quite nice. I think Scotch Me can get out of this. Oh, oh. Nearly pots, nearly pots the pink. King of the world. Oh, that was nice. That was very nice. Although, has he gone too far to get on the pink? I think he can just get the pink from this side. Oh, and that's class. Second highest break of the night so far. Break of seven, but he can equal the highest break if he can pot this one. Don't know if he was aiming for the centre pocket there. Did not get it, but that's the match is back on. Gaggly dink, gaggly dink. Me, 16, 24. Me, 38, 13. Scotch me once again. Snookered is going to come off the top cushion. Oh, oh, almost pots it. And that could have been game over. King of the world, me, does not make the mistake. He pots it. And there's a black tantalizingly over that top pocket, but I don't think he can get there. But he's up for the yellow. Look at that. That's lovely play from the king of the world. 
Is he going to pull this back at the last minute? Not with shots like that. A break of four for King of the World, me. Calculating, calculating, me 16, 24, me 38, 17. And I would have said Scotch me has played the better snooker here, but it's getting close. And here he comes again. Oh, in off. He nearly doubled that, uh, that yellow in. But now look at this. How has that affected the scores? King of the world up to 21. Yellow looks very gettable. Could the king of the... I mean, the king of the world should win. He's the king of the world. He pots that. To, oh, I don't know if he was trying to get on this side of the green. That's going to make getting on the brown hard. Danger of in off. I warned him. Two points to the king of the world. Nearly catches up but gives away four points. Calculating, calculating. Me 16, 28. Me 38, 23. It's so close. And as always... The real proper snookerists know it comes down to these, to these final colours. That was Scotch me there, wasn't it? I think messing that up. King of the world, me tries a double, or was it a treble? Oh, the... oh nearly gets a snooker. Not quite. Scotch me. Oh, in off. He pots it, but he goes in off, comes back up again. There's only one point between these two players now. It's getting very tight. If you started drinking in Scotland, thinking this was a done deal, stop drinking. This may not be over. Here comes the king of the world. Maybe good he missed that because he was snookered on the brown. Scotch me. Goes in off again. What a disaster. He was playing so well, he's behind for the first time in quite a while. Calculating, calculating, me 16, 28, me 38, 31. And here comes the king of the world. He's potted that green. His name is literally on this cue ball. Oh, and that was audacious. If that had gone in, I think that might have been enough. Scotch me. 22 points on the table, six points behind. Commentator two, any thoughts? I think uh, whichever of these two can pop most of these balls without making too many mistakes, we'll, we'll do it. Here's Scotch me. Oh, he should probably have done better there. King of the world, me. Oh, this is too tense. Scotch me. Oh, beautiful. This is like what Sherpa Tenzing and Edward Hillary took up Mount Everest to sleep in. Two tenths. Scotch me. Oh, how did he miss that? That should have been him back in the lead. There's two points between these players. Too exciting to call. King of the world, me. Tries to double it, tries to treble it, fails. Scotch me. Oh, he has to do better than that. He's the king of the world, but he's snookered. Oh, my stars. And that was something. I hope I wasn't standing in the way of that because that was one of the most amazing shots we've seen. King of the world, me. May just have put this beyond the reach. Shame he didn't get the full 18 there, but he got 11. Takes him up to 45. Can't be caught. King of the world, me. I'm sorry, Scotland. I'm sorry to all the Scotch people watching. It looked like it was in yours. It's 32, plays 45. It's all over. The king of the world has done it again. 32, 45. And Scotch, me. The first of the players to go first, not to win their frame. What a incredible palaver. Oh, some books falling down there with the excitement. And uh, 
Just checking everything's all right. Yes, I'm just checking there was someone said go snookers, hoping there wasn't something gone wrong, but hopefully it hasn't. Um, amazing snooker, amazing result. The king of the world progresses on to the next round where he will meet the winner of the next frame. He's the first of the, oh no, he's the set, me 37 and me 38 both through to the second round. Fantastic for these new wildcard players. Um, let's go back to Richard in the studio. Thank you. Very exciting. Um, can't believe that uh, Scotch me threw that away. He seemed to have it in the world in his hands. Then, just as happens so often with the Scotch people, just they snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. Uh, Scotch me loses his third match out of three. He's got to be in line for relegation out of the top 32 now. Um, despite, I think, playing the better snooker. He's here now. Uh, he's just sitting down. Och, Rich. I feel like a prize prick. Um, why are you talking with an Irish accent? Uh, Scotch me. Oh, okay. Good point, Richard. I'm so upset about... Yeah, not much better, but carry on. I'm so upset back about as Welsh about uh that was nearly Canadian I'm so oh, I'm so upset by about losing that frame back to Irish do you want to try Scottish okay I'm Scottish I'm as Scottish as they come I'm very upset Richard about this moose in the house and also losing the snooker. I will be back. I'm sorry to the people of Scotland that I've never progressed beyond the first round of anything or won anything except one frame when I lost 2-1. <sighs> well, I don't know what to say. Well, I'm going up to Loch Ness. I'm going to swim across Loch Ness and... Hopefully I'll see Nessie and some Sporrans and Bagpipes and Castle Urquhart and uh, good. Good luck to the king of the world. I was foolish to think that I could take him on. Thank you very much there to, I think, uh, Scotch me might be taken over by a Dalek. But he did well. He did very well. Unlucky, Scotland. Um, better luck next time. But let's see what the King of the World has to say about that. Uh, are you surprised you won? No, Richard, I'm not surprised. I'm the King of the World. I knew I'd win. I waited to the end to keep you all in suspense. And I thought, okay, I did a nick the nick that it, you uh, do some shots and get an in, and then dang, 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 I got an in. They were all good. Oh, your head's really coming up. Yeah, I know. I'm the king of the world, so I don't care. Got a bit of itchy nose, so excuse me. Okay, that's okay. You can have an itchy nose, Rich, because I'm the king of the world. I'm the king of the world. I'm the king of the world. And then round two, I'm playing knee 19 on knee two. I hope it's knee two, because I'd like to take on one of the big guys. That successful knee might think he can deep knee, that he cannot deep knee. Hooray, I can see all the fans in the chat room. They're so happy that I won because I'm the king of the world. I'm the name one in that creature fan. And also, I'm the king of the world. Bye, everyone. See you next week. Uh, good, king of the world there. It won't be next week, mate. It's a while till we get to your one. Um, well, very exciting. Very exciting uh, frame. Uh, we're still here in the Bambang Siyadi Arena. There will be another frame just behind me now. Referee one should be... If I see him just setting up the snooker board and um we are going to see me 19 playing me too now i don't know if any more news has come through about uh about the old uh covid well lockdown in scotland anyway wasn't it so that's you all the scotch people were already ready to lock down uh lockdown in england here we go so Let's meet successful Me19 and see how he's doing. He didn't do so well uh, in the... Just to give you a backup, he's played... what In proper tournaments, he has played one special. In proper tournaments, he's played one frame, lost one frame. Uh, he lost uh, to... Uh, I can tell you if you're interested. He lost to... Uh, I haven't got my glasses on. 
So many pairs of glasses. Where did I put them? Ah, it's not too far away, I'll get them. Um, me 19, bloody bloody blah. Oh, yes, he played uh, me 14, lost 2 1. Me 14, then lost 2 1. Me 13, who beat me 14, then lost 2 0. Me 32, who beat me 13, then won 2 1, and then lost 3 1 to me 31 in that uh, second tournament last year. I don't hardly need to remind you. Um, I can see successful me is just sitting down. I'll just hand over to him. Now, I kind of foolishly thought I was going to be able to swap glasses somehow without you realising. I'll tell you what, I'll take off my glasses. And we're over to successful me, 19. Oh, hi, Rich. Yeah, sorry, just putting on my shades. Because um, don't want people to recognise me. The thing is, Rich, um, it's pretty hard to go anywhere in the world, really, for me. Because uh, my comedy has just gone global. Bigger than Mr Bean. Bigger than Charlie Chaplin. Um, pretty good. So, uh, uh, it's, it must be nice for you to know that it, this could have worked out for you if you'd just made different choices in your life. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think a bit of anonymity here, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, it is me. <laughs> yeah, it is me. Um, so I'm sorry, some of, uh, me 19's fans just had burst in to the, the snooker arena. They're very reminiscent of when the Beatles, uh, we're recording um she was just 17 you know what i mean i saw her standing there the a lot of the fans got into the recording studio it gave a real frisson to um that recording it was one of their first massive successes as a result they obviously were popular enough to have fans by that stage yes i've been reading craig brown's book about uh, the beatles it's very good um so i mean it's it's interesting that i've been reading about the beatles this is very much uh what it's been like for you just this overnight success and uh, supermodels, no commitments, lots of money. You must be pleased. Hey, Rich, yeah, I am very pleased about all those things because they are all really good and I'm happy and I'm certainly not dying on the inside. Uh, I feel you probably are dying on the inside with your life. Um, but um, it's all, what they say is true. Money does buy you happiness and uh, and love and family are not as important as just having lots of money and success. So, um, sure, I played one frame of snooker and lost. Then I played another frame. The pressure was off. And I thought, well, let's give it a try. Let's see if we can make a success of this snooker thing. And so I'm going to try very hard to win again. We'll see how we go. And uh, me too, I know, has had a terrible form in uh, all of these matches. So I'm looking forward to uh, smashing his face into the dirt. Um, I mean, I think very much... Me too would have enjoyed being successful, me, but instead he's stuck with you. And uh, that's all I've got to say, really. So I'll, I'll get ready, go to the old green board. I'm up first. Probably will win. So see you in a sec. Thank you. Yes, thank you. I was just, I just had some sunglasses on that I took off there. Uh, let's have a look at Me Too's uh, progress through the previous tournaments. He's done very well against Me One in uh, the regular plays. Listeners to the podcast will know, watchers of the podcast will know, but. Uh, not doing so well in tournaments in the first uh, tournament last year. Me too. Where is he? Uh, lost 2-0 to me three. Who's already in the second round. Then um, in the second of the tournaments, me too. Where is he? Uh, I see him. Lost 2-1 to me 31, who went on to actually win the tournament. So maybe it was a bit unlucky to meet him in the first round. And then he was, he, despite those two losses, he was included in the um, elite championship quite um, controversially. Me three, who beat him, uh, did not appear in that, and I know he was very upset. And uh, although he did win, uh, finally won him one match, he lost two of the matches in the in the knock in the in that section there where there's a league table. Uh, came bottom of the table, won one, lost two. Uh, Two points, minus 29 goal difference. Uh, me 31, who also beat him, uh, just had a slightly better goal difference. Uh, me, tw me 2 beat me 11, but it didn't mean, mean anything by that stage. By that final, he'd, he'd lost his first two frames and so was out. So Me 2 has a lot to prove. Let's see how he's feeling. Me 2, how are you feeling? He's just sitting down now, I see. Thanks, Rich. Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to this. Look, um... It's weird that I'm not every week anymore. Um, I was enjoying being on every week, playing the proper thing. That 
I'm very much into the Me One versus Me Two. I, I find all of this cat TV cameras and uh, all the extra characters diverting and not in the spirit of self playing snooker, which is always Me One versus Me Two. Um, I'm doing well at Me One versus Still. No spoilers for those of you who haven't listened, but I'm ahead at Me One versus Me Two. I think certainly was anyway. Uh, it's close, but you know I'm winning. And yeah, I haven't really managed to. I only won that one frame when it didn't matter. Um, beating me eleven though, the female me. So she got a she learned a lesson that day that you don't mess with me too. Um, I mean it's probably not to talk about the only female player and say don't mess with me too is probably a mistake. I would say. Um, I beat her. I beat her good. So. Um, she then lost in the semi-finals. It was quite close, wasn't it? Me one beat her in the semi-finals. Me one went on to win that tournament, but he's out of this tournament, and that takes the pressure off me. And I'm hoping that I can. I'm disappointed no one's drinking this month. Uh, I'm not drinking, and that might give me the shakes a little bit. But I'm going to do my best. Shall we get on with it? Why don't we? You go. Me nineteen is ready at the table. I can see. Presumably, uh, referee want to set up while we've been talking. That make that makes sense. Let's go back to commentate one, commentate two in the in the Bam Bang Siadi Arena. Thank you, Richard. Um, unfortunately, don't worry, the frame, the camera hasn't stuck this time. I don't think that is the actual correct vision there. Uh, referee one had to go to uh, the referee's room to discuss what had happened with the cameras. Uh, he's just now setting up for the next frame. Yeah, actually, a little bit of trivia for you. He lost the little triangle for a bit when he was setting up the first frame, but then used the big frame. You can see it hanging on there, maybe. And uh, then found the little one, so he didn't, didn't need to use the big one. So just a little funny moment from Snooker. That's behind the scenes here at this Snooker Arena, the Bambanga Siyadi. Arena. Um, I noticed the Mies tonight having a little trouble with their trousers, a little bit loose. I don't know if that's uh, New Year diets, just wearing slightly too big a belt, I think, is actually their problem. All of them. So here we go. We're ready to go. Successful Me 19. We'll kick things off. Unsuccessful Me too. That's at least how it's been going. Let's see. We're off. No in off this time. No potting. Zero, zero, very unusual to get to the second player and no points having been scored at all, but me too. He's got a lot to prove here. I think uh, me one, Richard Herring himself would like to see the smug smile wiped off of me 19's face. Oh, unlucky from me too there. Me 19. And that was just so relaxed, so cool. He pots the red. Gonna go for the black, surely it can't go. No. But uh, me 19 finds himself one nil ahead. How will me two respond? Oh, by attempting a double and then kissing the white and doesn't work out. Successful me 19. Oh, it was a, oh no, brilliant play. I was wrong, I thought he was a little bit too relaxed, but uh, he had plans to, Somehow knock a ball into the centre pocket, even though he was aiming for the top pocket. He has snookered himself quite effectively, though. All the colour balls down one end of the board are red in his way. What can he get? I'm not even sure he can hit anything. He's, he's nominated yellow. Ooh, close. But uh, one point to successful me for the pot. Uh, four points to Me Too. Me Too finds himself in the lead. And can he pot a ball? He can. Me Too. Pots a ball, does not snooker himself entirely. Has a difficult bridge over the red here. Oh, doesn't get the pink. He's not going to go enough. Oh, he's potted the yellow. Me Too gets one but gives away six. Calculating, calculating, me 19, 8, me 2, 5. So that's disappointing news for me too. He must, oops, me 19, successful, it slips on the slippery stuff over here. 
Me19, has he managed to pot? No, I thought he managed to find a way to pot another one. Me too, can he? Oh, no, he can't. Me19. I liked what he tried to do there. It didn't come off for him. Nearly, very nearly double the red into the top pocket. Me too. Oh, he pots the red, but the did not put enough spin on the cue ball. The cue ball's followed through, gone in, and we've all followed through, but it's embarrassing to do it on live Twitch TV. Successful me, 19. He's off. He's 12, five ahead. And uh, he's just potted a red, so it's a bit more than that. He's just potted a blue. He's just potted another red. He's nudged the pink towards the pot, the, the pocket. Oh, and he went into that a little bit too quick, which is a shame because he was, oh, seven points to successful me. Didn't, did I forget to add some on? I think it's right now, 19.5, me too. He's got a lot of work to do here. Oh, I like that attempt. Is he going to go follow? Th oh, is it going to work out for him? No. He leaves the cue ball far from the reds. And somehow successful me doesn't pot one of those reds hanging on the edge there. And me too does. The ball comes spinning back a little out of control. He can get the brown, he thinks. And now he's the cue ball right right up against the bolt, the cushion there. He's up to six points, but it's 19-6. Successful, me 19 on 19, me two on six. Oh, disappointing from me 19. Could have wrapped it up there, I think. Me two goes all the way around the table. Sorry, the board. Pots are red. He's, I mean, he's sort of on the blue. Oh, he messes it up. What a shame. He's nudging forwards, but he needs a miracle now against this very informed me 19, who is getting all the luck as well. No, he missed time that, but didn't, no repercussions. Me too. Can't quite get that red unless he can knock this red into that red. Oh, very close. Me 19, again, another difficult bridge. Oh, nearly misses. Nearly misses the red ball entirely, but just nips it. Me too. Seems to have lost his cocky confidence and swagger. Me 19 is sort of the ultra me too. Oh, he just misses a fairly easy red. Me too, come on. Oh, nice try, nice double down the board. Me 19. Me 19 may have got a snooker here. Me too should get out of it. He does, oh, he's potted the green. Oh, me too, me too, me too. At two, me too. Four points to me, 19. Calculating, calculating, me 19, 23. Me too, seven. Me 19. He looks like he's got it done and dusted to me. He seems the better player. Me too. Oh, just, I don't even know how to describe that for the audio listeners. Me 19, beautiful pot and the, the pink is very much on here. He's potted the pink. Oh, may have snookered himself. He's got to break a seven, but uh, he really just needed the yellow, blue, red and black are all in a row. This is a hard one to get out of, and this me 19 may have just screwed himself here. Yeah, that was a definite miss, and it's called a miss. So uh, let's just put on me 19, got seven. Let's put that on first of all. Taking it up to 30, but there's a six point penalty for missing that red. He gets it the second time, so six points to me too. At least that gives him some hope. 
Calculating, calculating, me 1930, me too, 13. Me too. Now finds himself on the end of a snooker himself. He gets out of it. Has he got another snooker? Don't think so. I'd say this is gettable for me 19. He hasn't got it, I don't think. But nor is he made, he's not making the errors. The unforced errors, me too. Tries to double that, tries for a snooker, fails. Me 19 in this game of 3D chess. He just seems to be the, the more confident play. Pots the green, he snookered himself again though. This is a little vestige of hope. Really good snooker, really impressive snooker. He's got to get to the yellow. And that has been called a miss, not unsurprisingly, because it just bounced off. So and let's just put his four on. This is four for potting that. So he's got, he's got to play again. Oh, he's hit the brown, that's, that's eight. And he's got to play again, so that's eight. He hit the black and that's been called a miss again. So that is 15 to me too. That's another four. It's been called a miss again. Uh, so that's 19 to me too. 23 to me too. And uh, me too is allowing that to be played on. But the upshot of that is he's playing on. He's got a free ball. It's now 20, 34, place 36, and me too is back in this. He's, the pink is a yellow, just for now. He's missed it. Me 19. Must be furious with that, with himself. Me too. This game can always turn on a sixpence. Me too misses. I mean, he doesn't deserve it, but he's ahead. Me 19. No good. Me too. Oh, he's, no, oh, he's missed and hit the pink. So he's now back behind again, and that might be fair. It's 40 place 36, me 19. It's a comedy of errors, me too. I don't think he can pop this yellow unless, no. Foolish me too, he's just set up me 19. He's hit it too softly, I think. Oh, me 19, what a b b foolish, some bad mistakes being made here. The yellow hanging on the pocket. Was that a double tap from me too? He's got away with it if it has. He's got two points. He's up to 38, me 19 on 40. He's got, he's at the hockey. Oh, and what a shot, and me 19. I think when the push comes to shove, Oh, it's two fantastic shots in a row from me, 19. He's potted the green and the brown. Can he get the blue? Of course he can. Nearly snookers himself, but doesn't. I think it's all over. It isn't yet. So, seven, 12 points. Oh, and it's looking good for me, 19. He's on 52. Me too is on 38. There is 14 points between these two. There's 13 points on the table. Me too needs a snooker. It's gonna be hard. He needs a snooker or a mistake from this fantastic informed Me 19. Oh! Well, this is the match that just keeps giving an unforced error. Me. 19 went in off. It's now calculating, calculating me 1952, me 244. There's eight points between them, 13 points on the table. Can me too pop this pink? It's a long pink. This is could be the most important shot of his career. He's fucked it up. How badly though? Me 19 could pop this. Oh, that jingled and jangled in the pocket. Like Boris Johnson trying to decide whether for schools to go into lockdown or not. Changing his mind. Me too, has another shot at this. 
Oh my stars, how did he miss that? He's been given so many ins to this. Me 19 just potted the pink, it's all over. He goes for the, oh, he's gone in off on the black, but I don't think it matters. He gets six points, me two gets seven points. It ends up me 19, 58, me two, 51. He's out in the first round once again. 58, plays 51. What a disaster for the very strong breeze. What a moment for that young me 19 who, let's face it, deserved that victory. Deserved that victory. No, you can't, once there's been a mistake on the black, uh, check your tea towels. That is the end of the frame. Doesn't matter, people in the chat room can chat away all they like. The error on the, an error on the black sees the end of the game. There was no need for him to play that extra ball he'd already won. You can shout out all you want. No. You have to understand snooker. I'll hand you over to commentator too. Yeah, grow up, chat room. Um, back to Richard in the studio. Well, it's the curse of me too in these tournaments. Just doesn't seem able to progress beyond the first round. A lot of people very angry in the chat room, calling for void, saying their referee was disgusting. A disgrace. You don't know the rules of snooker, my fine friends. And that's self-playing snooker as well. Very important rules. Um, it's over. It's over. Me too is gone. Successful, annoying, unpleasant me 19. Wearing his sunglasses all the way through that match. You notice he's through. Fix. I mean, if anyone was fixed in that game, is he 4 two, two, nine? It was me too getting loads of extra goes at doing stuff. Um, I know a lot of people are very upset. He has a lot of young fans. Uh, over to me too, just sitting down. Richard, what can I say? I've let my young fans down once again. Um, it means I can concentrate on what matters, the, the contest between me and me one. Just to say there won't be any of that until this is over. So you'll just be sitting there doing nothing. Well, at least both of us are out. So um, there's that. You know, I... It was close, wasn't it? I was close to win. I was only seven points away, as these people are saying. If they let me have another go, you know, if they just change the rules and let me have another go, I could... Uh, me one lost by 20 points, so... Well, me three has knocked you out in the first round. He's knocked me one out in the first round. He's an angry, angry player with, I think, a grievance against you. Do you think you should have been in the elite finals? Richard, you know, this face is box office. You know, no one else has this face, this character, this temperament. Um, they needed me for that tournament. I'm sorry I haven't performed. I'm sorry that I've been knocked out again. I feel I've let Bam Bang Sir Yardi down more than anyone. Um, I know he was hanging on, hoping to see me win this. Um, I don't know why the chat room is still arguing about it. There's only you. Once someone's ahead on the black, that's the end of it. They can choose to try and pot it if they make a mistake. Those are the rules. I, you know, I go down by the rule. I play by the rules. I go down by the rules. I'll be back and I will win something. It was better when it was just me versus me one because I won some of those. Then I look. Let's have a look. Chris Evans tournaments. Um, let's have a look. We'll just take you through those we played when it was just the two of us. Uh, 2012, me one won admittedly. 2013, I won. Uh, 2013, uh, me I won. 2014, I won. 2016, uh, me one won the tournament on a replaced black ball of five frames. I essentially won that. In 2017, um, me one won, but the, it was declared a uh, void because there was a pink ball that wasn't on the tape on the board for a while. Then me one admittedly won the replay. Uh, then I won the cockpit, the last uh, live frame that we've done, and uh, on the BBC. On me won one, so you know I've won. I've won the Chris Evans Trophy a few times, so I'm not that bothered. Admittedly, when there was only two people, it's like Oxford Cambridge Boat Race, so people still go, "Oh, well, Cambridge have won more of those." Still, only two people in it. Well, thank you there to uh, me too. Let's talk to the victorious, successful me nineteen. He's just sitting down now. Oh, hi, Rich. Yeah, sorry. Let me just put on my shades. Uh, just sat down. 
They're a bit uh, dirty, actually. I'll just clean them. Uh, I hope you don't mind. I've come dressed pretty casually. It costs quite a lot of money to look this good in this cash. Uh, getting your hair cut like this is quite a lot in the top salon in Mayfair. So, um, feeling pretty good, Rich. Uh, you know, I've, I've tasted victory. I was the better player there, let's face it. And uh, I deserve to win. And to be frank, it was pretty ridiculous the way the referee kept on making me retake. I mean, admittedly, I didn't come close to hitting it. And then he could have carried on all day, I suppose. But... Um, yeah, no, it's good. I, I hope I can make the next... I've got uh, quite a lot of stuff in the diary uh, all over the world. Maybe lockdown will help you. Maybe uh, we'll be doing stuff remotely. I think me and Michael Sheen, Dave Tennant, are putting together some uh, remote comedy uh, thing we're doing. And, uh, yeah, I'm not just doing game shows. I'm doing acting, films, mainly in films, uh, sitcoms, big arena tours. Uh, so it's nice to just kick back and see the old guys and see what could have been. <laughs> could have been playing snooker in an attic if, uh, if I'd made the wrong choices in my career. Well, but thanks, Rich. Thanks for having me along. It's good to see you again, man. Good luck with uh, what you're doing here. It's good. It's good what you do. No, you should be should be uh, pleased with it. Should be ple I hope you're pleased with it because you should be. Well, thank you to the successful me nineteen. I don't like him. You don't like him. I think today maybe both the uh, crowd favourites went down. But um, we've got two new more players through. Uh, we'll be back uh, probably next Monday. You know, you never know though. With lockdown, you never know what might happen. To be honest, if my wife was allowed to go out, I'd be playing a lot more snooker up here because she goes out sometimes and I never do. She's seen some uh, of her friends, she said. Um, sometimes she has to stay over with her friends because it's uh, difficult to get back. And, uh, yeah, it all seems above board. Uh, but since lockdown, she's been really angry about something and frustrated about something. But uh, I guess everyone has been in lockdown. Just sort of going, why can't I get out of here? You know, I've got things to do, people to do things to do, she says, you know. and I don't know. I mean, I think it's pretty solid. I think our relationship's pretty solid. Uh, so I think everything's going to be okay. Anyway, there we have two more players through. Me 38, me 19. Uh, 19 times 9, 9 times 2 is 38. I don't think that's a coincidence. Uh, the 16, I don't know what we do with that. Me 16 is out. The Scotch me goes out first round once again. Me 2 goes out first round once again. Me 19 gets through the first round for the first time. Me 38, uh, as yet unbeaten, king of the world. Can anyone take him out? Reminds me of uh, Sam Beckett from Quantum Leap, who will be coming up in the second half of the draw, playing me four, who sounds like he'd be an exciting character, but it's just serious me. It's not that good. All right, guys, I'll see you around. Thank you for watching. Please do take care. Good luck with whatever's coming up. We'll get through it, you know, most of us, and then a few of us won't. And uh, please try and stay alive, because I don't have enough fans to lose one. If, you know, Peter Kay's fans could die, that wouldn't, it won't really affect him. See you later, kids. See you around on that bombshell. Goodbye.